will take me two seconds and we'll have some fun. I'm gonna be pretty rusty here. This game is very challenging and they also kind of have ascensions. Uh, it's called looping in this game, but it's kind of ascensions. And I've been trying to climb, but it's a, uh, it's, uh, it's a scary one. If you guys have any questions about the game, keep it coming. Music could be a tad louder. Oh, got you. Another game? Nope, I will not buy this one as well. <laughs> uh, this one I'm biased towards, dude. This is one of the best. Klein90, thank you so much for the follow. Again, guys, thank you so much for the love, man. To have this, to have this new adventure every day to go on with you guys, man, is a dream come true. I, I get so excited about it. All right, how about like right there? If it should be louder, just let us know. All right, we'll kind of commentate as I go, because I know there's gonna be a lot of new people checking out the game. Again, keep in mind, this is a game that I can continuously get better at. Uh, if you think like Enter the Gungeon is hard, pff, Enter the Gungeon is training wheels for this game. Enter the Gungeon is training wheels for this game. Training wheels. I'm talking like boss design. If you want to talk about boss design, this game makes this, like Enter the Gungeon look like it, it's still playing in the sandbox. And it, it, you know, it's, it's not on the big kid slide yet, you know? All right, so where are we going to start off? First of all, I'm going to make sure I go in my shop here. This is where you're going to buy a lot of the unlocks for the game. Uh, I have very, very, I went through internet struggles for many years, so I have like top tier internet right now. Finally, let's buy a supply package. Um, and this is where you'll buy a lot of the unlocks and stuff to find in your runs and you can also turn things off uh, Interesting enough. So if you really really don't like having a certain weapon on you can actually turn it off So you don't find it in your runs, which is pretty cool um, You can't do it with everything in the game, but you can do it with a lot of the stuff Cool uh, Put something good on Uh, we're gonna be playing hard mode today, so keep in mind that this is gonna be harder than it normally is. And we also have a bunch of different kinds of ships that change the playstyle of the game. I think we're gonna play more traditional first. We're gonna play more traditional, so we're gonna go 13th visitor. We're gonna play hard mode, and we're gonna keep lethality down to normal, and we're gonna be playing with loops, question mark? We'll play on loop one. We're gonna get bodied, but that's fine. We're not here to win. We're here to have fun. You love Monster Train and Slay the Spire. Dude, Jarp Boy, I'm so glad you found us. You found, you found the right place, brother. Whew. I always wonder how people find us. I always wonder. Just stumbled in here. Some people just fall in. They fall through the roof. They don't know how they got here. Some people fall asleep and we get raided and they wake up and they're like, how the hell did I get here? And they still come every day since, you know? It's like crazy. It's always a crazy adventure. Oh, fa mostly fairly new to roguelites. So this is how I love to start. So this game released the DLC and the DLC monolith is uh, essentially monolith 2. So if you, I will say that if you do buy monolith, you have to buy the DLC as well. I will say that because the mon the DLC is literally monolith part two. It, it's just expanded the game in every single direction. I would say that you have to buy both if you're gonna buy one. Um, so what it did is it added this um, mirror where you could practice just against the bosses in the game which is great because the bosses in this game like i said will make you think like enter the gungeon is training wheel stuff um so what we're gonna do is i like to warm up by playing some of the bosses uh keep in mind this is hard mode and uh you're gonna see that this game could easily be sold just as a boss battler if it wanted to just as a boss battler you could sell this game if you wanted to the Monster Train content was not disappointed. All right, so let's give it a start with an easy boss and let's see what we can do. So we're just doing a little boss rush training. This is just to get warmed up. 
just to get warmed up. So you can see that I control the little ship. Um, oh my. The little dot on the ship, you guys can all see the little green dot. That is my hitbox. That it, that's it. It doesn't matter if anything else gets hit. As long as that little tiny green dot does not get hit, I will not get hurt. You'd think that would be easy, right? You'd think that would be easy. So I do have some bombs, as you can see on the top left of the screen, after under my ammunition, which is kind of like a blank and enter the gungeon. It clears all the bullets. You know, a lot of bullet hell games use it. Awesome. All right, we took a couple hits there, but good warm up, good warm up. To a roguelike. Oni! You're making me play. I love this game. You're making me want to play. Yo, glad you're enjoying your lurk. Is that a Pokeball and a jar? I missed it. It might be. More games should do this? I agree, Diza. More games should do this. And it's funny, when the game first came out in Monolith, the bosses could be very brutal. And so a lot of people are like, oh my god, I wish there was a way just to practice against the bosses. And the devs listened. And so as long as you buy the DLC um, and you unlock this thing, as long as you beat a boss, you can then practice against the boss. But you have to be able to beat the boss first. Whether it's getting lucky, getting OP, it doesn't matter. But once you beat it, you can practice against it. Um, let's try another easy one. This is one of the newer bosses. Let's try Ringleader. He's a, he's a floor one boss. You have to actually get around his boxing glove looking things. Ow. Okay. Now, if you want to get good at bullet hell games, this is the kind of game you play and it will carry over. It'll make all other games easier. It'll make Enter the Gungeon easier. Um, any other like bullet hell-ish game you're playing, playing this game will give you the skill, which is really awesome. It does transfer to other games. Oh my God, did they buff this guy? I'm pretty sure they buffed this guy. Those things are flying fast. What? crank it up a little bit so as i said yeah this could easily just be a boss battler with how like cool the enemy design is in this game and how many bosses there are this guy stresses me out sometimes oh god he's doing this circle attack we have to stay in the middle one hit so far two oh god we got hit by an icicle so we're slowed i'll use a bomb here if i have to Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Nice dodge. Ow. I'm gonna use another bomb. Okay. D uh, we also have a dash. You do not get iframes during the dash unless you upgrade to it. Um, uh, without it, it's just a dash. You do not go through bullets. Almost there. Got him. We almost died. That was brutal. We'll do one more and then we'll do. Oh dear God. Okay. This is one of the hardest bosses in the game. We'll warm up here. We're gonna get slapped by the way. This is one of the hardest bosses. This is a secret boss. Uh, and you need to be able to defeat this guy if you wanna loop the game, which means go to the next ascension. I've never seen the bullet hell side of SD. Oh. I like a wide range of uh, indie games, man. I love it all. A good game is a good game. And I also like pushing my skills, you know? I always like to, to get better as a gamer. And it's funny because a lot of games, you know, you have to dodge things, right? It's a big part of gaming. So, you know, getting good at bullet hells will also carry over to so many other games that it's a worthy skill to get good at, you know? When you think about it that way, it's like awesome. Just like deck building, like being good at a deck builder carries over to a lot of other games. Oh my god, we're getting slapped. Yeah, this guy is so strong. He's not even close to being dead, by the way. He has like a thousand forms. <laughs> like, we're not even halfway there. 
Also keep in mind that during a normal run, we would have crazy weapons and be a lot stronger. Oh, that dodge was sick! It's the little things, right? Oh, that dodge was sick too! Oh God, we're so dead here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good warm up. Let's do real runs. Do you play any fighting games? I play platform fighters, Mosey. I play a lot of Rivals of Ether. I used to play Smash a lot. All right, so we're gonna do real runs. That's the warm up. You guys ready? All right, let's have some fun. How is he so good, dude? I'm terrible. I suck at model. Oh my God, welcome. We'll get better together because I'm terrible as well. This looks hard. Yep, this is hard mode. And this game is, like I said, it could be very challenging. Okay, um, so we have a secret wall here. Um, yeah, let's start by going, I mean, uh, a, a shortcut room. Oh, we found the secret room too. Okay, so this is the shortcut room. Let's see what we found. Hey, you small thing. How about some trading? Two max HP for just the poultry sum with 25% of your max ammo. So he wants 25% of my max ammo count for two extra HP. I'm gonna say no on that one. Thanks though. I'd rather have my ammo. We also found the secret room. Um, if you guys know how to find secret rooms in games like Binding of Isaac and stuff like that, the same rules apply here. Okay, so we got a secret room. We found a firebomb. Damages all enemies. So the firebomb is going to go right here. Um, and we have one normal bomb. I saw you commentating the monster train tournament the other day. Oh my god, thank you so much, man. <laughs> thank you so much. Dude, that's on YouTube. That monster train tournament, we, we pulled off the first ever monster train tournament. I gotta say, I am so happy with how, it, how we pulled it off. And if you guys are uh, coming over from monster train, if you've not checked it out, our tournament yet, you're missing out go over to the youtube check it out let me know how you'll see it's on the youtube i turned out so hype it starts a little slow but i promise you about 20 minutes in you're gonna start getting pulled into the runs dude it got so hype these thank you so much for the kind words we're gonna do another one soon uh wish a lid wish a lid wish a wish a wish a lid wish a lid is that how you say your name good stream friend i'm liking it so far thank you so much man Here we go. These guys are not so bad. Okay, so a couple of other things to notice. While I'm fighting people, you're gonna see them explode into debris. That debris, I need to collect to gain money, right? That debris turns into my money. You do not auto collect the debris, right? When you shoot somebody, they'll explode and debris will start to fly out. If you go next to it, you'll suck it in. Um, so what happens is part of the strategy is when you kill somebody, you do wanna collect that debris. When you kill the last enemy in a room, you will auto collect all the debris. You'll auto-collect everything if it's the last enemy in the room. So that is part of the strategy. And not only that, see when I kill this guy, I'm gonna suck it all in. Not only that, the more I don't get hit, the more multiplier I'm gonna get. Multiplier is not just for score here. Multiplier is also to multiply the amount of money that I'm gonna get. So the more you don't get hit, the more you get rewarded and the more money you make. It was fun hearing you try. It's pronounced in a French way. Ah, oh, Wish. I'm just gonna call you Wish, all right? <laughs> Thank you for the kind words, man. <laughs> I'm actually part French, but I don't speak it. I took French in school. That's about it. Got another bomb. Uh, this is a mini boss room, and I don't want to go in there until we get a gun. And I want to build more multiplier first, if I can, to make more money off the mini boss. Oh, God, this guy! He's like a new, like, little mini boss, dude. He's gonna ruin my multiplier. I know it. All right, if I need to bomb, we bomb. I'm trying to dash to his side because he has a shield. He's blocking like a pro. Ugh, we're gonna bomb here. We firebombed him. Oh, I got hit by running into him. Can you die? That'd be awesome. Got him. <gasps> oh, we can't even complain. 10% damage up. This is for the rest of the run. Temper we did get a hit. We did get hit, so I'm a little sad. But 10% damage up. So right now my my damage is normal, 100%. We do normal damage. But so we're getting a 10% damage up. This item is pretty rare. So now everything is gonna hit a bit harder. Great way to start the game. Great way. Look at that. We kill these guys a lot faster now, and we're still using our base weapon, getting a lot of debris, trying to stay close. Um, I another thing that I love about this game, and I love to take the time to explain it. 
Um, I have a big pet peeve. I hate when games waste your time. Um, and I used to have a big problem with Enter the Gungeon and stuff like that because you would have to do so much trekking through an empty level to get back to the other side to get an item that you left or all the way over here and all the way over there, right? And, and you would hope there's a teleporter close by. In this game, if you clear the room, you instantly teleport there if you want. I love when a game will not waste your time. I love that. It's, it may be just a me thing, a little thing, but I love that. Keeps the action fresh, you know, and keeps you moving forward. It's the little things. Oh my god, hide behind this rock. Nice. I used the terrain to my advantage. All right. We found the secret room already. I'm still looking for my weapon chests. We did not find a weapon chest yet. I hated that Binding of Isaac did that. Yep, that's another example. Um, you know, it's not a big deal, but you know those little times where you clear the room and you're like, all right, let me go back all the way over here to gamble. You know, and it's just like annoying. It's just frustrating. You know, it's not fun. Um, so uh, this is just another big thing that I really, really love. And those are all the things that I take into account, you know, when I pick games of the year and stuff. Nice, we're doing really well. You see, this is a shiny rock. Give me that money. Made another $177 off of that. We're feeling good. Uh, so we got an HP part. SD, what's an HP part? Um, right here. This is an HP part. So what happens is, if you guys have ever played games like Downwell, um, what other games do it? Downwell does it. Uh, Atomicrops does it. Um, where they started the thing where you can overheal. Um, and so every time that you overheal, so if you go over 10 HP, you'll overheal and you'll get an HP part. Every time you get four HP parts, you increase your max HP. So the game will reward you for overhealing by letting you, allowing you to get more and more max HP. So that was an HP part, so it didn't kill us at all, but we did get one towards um, our max HP. So we have to collect four of those. Hopefully I'm doing the right job explaining that. All right, so we found our weapon chest. Um, Yeah, we'll open our weapon chest. Let's freaking do this. Like armor and gungeon? No, armor and gungeon's a little bit different. So armor and gungeon, which you can also find armor in this game, protects you from like a hit and then it goes away and it's gone forever. But a max HP, you can always heal back up. You know what I mean? If I get 11 max HP, I can always go back up to 11 with health. Whereas armor, once it's gone, it's gone. You're not filling that back up. You know what I mean? So it's, it's better than armor. Uh, yeah, so let's get a weapon. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the weapons here. What up, Two Socks? Uh, from someone who played a lot of Binding of Isaac, um, playing this game blew my mind. Turns out you don't have to force players to backtrack throughout the entire level. Who would have thought? Hello, <laughs> Carso. What's up, man? <laughs> who would have thought? <laughs> okay. So let's talk a little bit about the weapons. We opened our first weapon chest. So the game is actually going to give me a choice. Anytime there's a line like this, it means you have to make a choice. Um, so there's a couple things to note about the weapon. <laughs> um, so each weapon has a base modifier. So this is a sword weapon, as you can see at the top, and this is a revolver weapon, right? And then under that, you're always going to get randomly generated modifiers. Those will always be random. They're going to get, you're going to get random. Um, a basic weapon has two, so you're going to get two random modifiers. So let's see what we like more. We have a revolver. It can also has freeze and piercing. So it'll go through an enemy and it'll freeze them. That sounds awesome. Uh, or we could take a sword. It has knockback, so it pushes enemies away, and it's heavy, so it's slow, but it hits harder. Um, I'm not the best with swords, so I'm going to take early revolver with piercing and freeze. That sounds sick. So we cast that in, and we have 250 bullets. So this is how weapons work in this game. We pick it up, we have 250 shots. The trick here is we could find more and more ammo up, so we could like, keep this weapon for a long time if we want. Um, but if that weapon gets to zero, if we run out of bullets, it's scrapped. It's destroyed. That weapon is gone. Weapons are not permanent in this game. It's gone. Um, there's ways to increase our ammo. There's ways to keep it longer if we want. But you also get rewarded. So let's say we find another good weapon in the next room. I could scrap this weapon, trade it in, grab the new weapon, and the game will refund me and give me uh, money based on how much I scrapped. So you will still get rewarded if you toss it in. All right, so now that we have a weapon, let's look at our damage output. Oh, yeah, look at that. And they turn blue because of the freeze, so they slow down. I'm trying not to get hit because I want to keep my multiplier. Yep, there we go. Grab the debris. Yeah, we're feeling real good now. We have a 2.3 multiplier. Max is 3.0, so we're getting a lot of money now. Oh, and our first upgrade room. 
we found our first upgrade station. Every floor will have one of these. I love this in roguelites. I love this. Kind of like downwell. Every time you go to the next level, you get to pick an upgrade. Same here. Every floor gets to go into one of these rooms. You get to pick out of uh, a random upgrades. So our choices here are blink. So every time we teleport, uh, instead of dash. So this will give us iframes. So instead of dashing, we're going to blink. Literally teleport. Um, we could also do stealth. Enemies take longer to activate. This is really good for room clearing because uh, it takes the enemies longer to wake up so we can like ambush them. Um, or scanner reveal some rooms on every floor show enemy hp also you could always hold tab to get more information about an upgrade identify shortcuts contents and key positions normal enemy health becomes visible under them so it also shows where all the shortcuts are if there's anything hidden we'll get a bunch of information uh i think i'm gonna go stealth here for room clearing yeah let's go stealth okay let's keep going i'm gonna pull clear Oh man, that guy didn't even get to do anything because it's stealth. All right, let's try to fight a mini boss. We have 2.3 multiplier. Oh, and we're gonna go try to kill this guy. Here we go, first mini boss. The freeze is really gonna help, I hope. Yup, he didn't really get to do much and we get to keep our multiplier. So every mini boss we fight, we can either get 20% ammo or we can go heal one HP. Uh, let's keep this gun topped off. I'm gonna take ammo here. Keep this gun tipped off. Yo, Mosey, have an awesome night. Thank you so much for hanging out. Some guns in this game are very spammy. Some are not. The revolver is not so spammy. There we go. Uh, we're going to use a bomb here to go in here. My bomb, um, minimum two bombs will start to collect back as you clear rooms. And we also found a excavation bomb. Whoa, he almost had me. Nice, you can see uh, the stealth ambush is really helping here. Get to ambush enemies. Oh no, this guy's brutal. Ugh. Got him. Yeah, our first upgrade um, is really putting in work. Stealth. There we go. Got him. Cool, another health up. So we're at max health now. Everything that we get now will go towards orb or healing. We also have max, uh, almost max multiplier. Oh, a cartridge. These are kind of like relics, like artifacts. Uh, magnifying glass, discovered rooms in a three by three radius. It'll give us some mapping. It's also $3,000. We could buy a mirror bomb, which reflects all bullets, or we can increase our max HP. I'm gonna increase my max HP for now and we'll see how we do on the boss. All right, so let's go fight our first boss. We found the secret room already. We full cleared, we're feeling good. Here we go. So now the trick here is if we don't get hit, we could, might be able to go to a secret. We'll see that later. Yeah, we'll be able to get it later. There we go. One of the easier first bosses, but I may get hit here. I don't want to get hit here. I want to keep my multiplier if we can. Almost got hit. Got him! One of the easier first bosses. Beautiful. Cool. So we also unlocked a secret. Um, Interesting. So we have a choice here. Either recover 2 HP, which would go towards our overhealing, or we can get a damage up. Um, damage up is a really hard to come by in this game, whereas health is not the hardest thing to come by. So we're going to take the damage up here. Get stronger and stronger. Does slow wake up work for bosses? No, only for room clearing. And it only buys you like an extra second or two, but that second really matters in room clearing. You know what I mean? Because you can take out like the biggest target. Um, so the handheld is, it goes to a secret area called the temple. And the only way to get it is to beat the floor, beat the boss with above a 2.5 multiplier. So we actually just made it. Um, and you can only go in here once, I believe, in a run. Uh, and going on it in the first floor, I don't want to give out all the secrets. Um, we don't get full access to the temple by taking it this early, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go in there. Uh, I'm going to need all the help I can get. So do we buy magnifying glass? I don't think it's necessary. I think I'm going to take the bomb and we're going to call it a day. I don't think it's necessary. You take it. 
All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Into the temple we go. Uh, this also has one of the best soundtracks in the game in this part. Yeah, we're definitely lacking ammo. Let's go to the right first. Stealth helping. Got him. Nice. We're doing really good. We have a weapon over here. We have piercing, so I'm trying to hit both at the same time. Beautiful. Piercing is really helping there. Grab the debris. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, let's get a new weapon. Charge, surge, and phasing. Ooh. Or razor homing lance. Relatively cheap. Yeah, yeah, definitely on the cheaper side. I think charge is really good with stealth. Um, and razor homing is like super good. I'm gonna go charge here. It sounds fun. With phasing, we can manipulate walls and stuff. It's also really good with uh stealth. You can see it's putting in a lot of work here. Really good. Really good. Let's go up. You can see we're just wrecking house right now. I should have bombed there. Cool. Phasing is putting in that work. Ow! Alright, they shoot a little faster than I thought. Nice. There we go. Whoa. Beautiful. Money. Uh, I guess we'll go up. Do, 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 do. Good run so far. Can't complain. Doing really well. All right, we're at the boss. At one of the mini bosses. Hopefully we get one of the easier ones. We do have three bombs. Here we go. damage up hopefully comes in clutch here got him all right we did get hit twice not bad so above a 2.5 multiplier we take no damage so every time we go above a 2.5 multiplier we get a damage shield that's freaking awesome um these kind of artifact these uh cartridges you can only get down here in the temple that's why it's really come really like fun to come down here is because this is the only place you can grab them so now it's time to get out of the temple alive. That's a whole nother question. Getting out of the temple alive is a whole nother thing. A visitor. Oh, very interesting. I think it's time you left. Here we go. I'm getting slapped. Don't kill me, please. Please don't kill me. <sighs> All right, we made it out of the temple and we got a secret weapon. Dear God. So this is the only place you can get this weapon, by the way. It's like a staff and sword combo. Uh, yeah, that was scary. Getting out of the temple is a whole nother question. And that's the easiest the temple can be because we went to temple one on the first area. Uh, so yeah, that was the easiest it could be. Cat senses of guards. We're going to grab our care package here. 15% damage up. Two max HP. Ammo up. Feeling real good. Little care package. Yeah, we're Gandalf now. Battle Gandalf. We're battle Gandalf. 
little sword and uh, sword and magic action. This game looks really hard. It could be very hard. This is the game that got me decent at bullet hell. Like I didn't, I wasn't always this good. Just like I, I wasn't always good at deck building. And so, if you're trying to be good at deck builders, you play Slay the Spire. You play Monster Train. You play Slay the Spire. If you're trying to be good at bullet hells, you play Monolith. Like that's just how it is. Another cool thing about swinging is we can negate bullets. Get off me. Ooh. Ooh. We found out uh, uh, an ammo chest thing. So deadly weaponry is in here. It costs 83 ammo to open. I'm definitely opening this. Okay. Deadly weaponry. It has four modifiers each. Sword. Railgun. Homing. Charge faster. Ricochet. Backblast. Or drill. Triple. Oh, man. This drill is amazing. We're just going to rip through its ammo. That drill is amazing. We're just going to rip right through its ammo. This is also a good railgun. I'm going to go with the drill. Let's just go with it. It'll make this floor easy. We also get money for trading in the last weapon. $600. And we found our upgrade room. Artifact. Plating. Blink. It's pretty early for plating. So plating gives us uh, one third of our HP. Like gives us a max HP. Uh, we can also take artifact here, which gives you a selection of powerful weapons, but it's pretty early to do that as well. And we just got a powerful weapon and we could also go blink. Blink is interesting. You can get out. You can do some really cool stuff with blink. Um, so it's only it's one of these two. The choices that I'm up against. It's pretty early for the heal. I do like this one. I'm going to take um, I'm going to take teleport here to do some blink stuff. Hopefully it saves us some damage here and there. Yeah, look at our weapon. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, this is crazy. Look at this thing. That is so sick. Let's try to find our secret room. Yeah, I don't know if it gets much better than that. I'm gonna look for a secret room here. Found it. Uh, detect its kin. Okay. I think that'll find all the mini bosses for me. I'm not really sure. Maybe. Ammo. Cool. Ben Star! What's up, brother? Model the type is real. I'm trying to. A lot of people haven't heard of this game. I'm like, oh my god, this is a travesty. Oh, hacking missions. So this is also in the DLC. These are mini games that we could do to uh, to get like extra loot and stuff. Um, this one is a particular mini game. It's a special one where our only objective is to grab all the loot that we can in a certain a lot of time. I'm actually very bad at it. I'm very bad at it. Here we go. All right, we got some good loot. We got a lot of HP off of it. We were one short of getting the ammo. Ow. Oh, nice. Our armor blocked it. You heard that sound? That's because we were above a 2.5 multiplier. So the armor was like, not today. Not today. I heard it was lacking content in the DLC, dude. That's my favorite meme, dude. Look how much money we have right now. Where are you going? Ooh, we got another armor up. So now that I'm plated blue, the next hit will automatically be negated. And my ar and it will not affect my combo. And we just lost it, so it came in handy. <laughs> Let's go fight the mini boss while we have multiplier. And this weapon. Oh no. This guy is mocha ass. Wait, we had another armor? Let's go! Oh, now we lost it. I'm gonna go ammo here. Mm. 
Nah, he's trolling. He's trolling. Because there was a review in the early... When the DLC first came out, there was a review. And it was a guy that clicked, like swore he was a fan of Monolith and swore that there was no content in the DLC. <laughs> it's like the most ridiculous thing we ever heard, so we always make fun of it. Cool. So we bought, um... We bought max ammo up, so now our ammo's at 150... Uh, 150%. And we bought, um, ammo up. And what else did I just buy? Oh, bombs. We bought bombs. Nice double shot. Let's go in the secret here. Ooh, ammo. That was worth going in. Two 20 percenters. We're back to max. So this weapon's going to last a while. Later, Klein. Nice to meet you, man. The review is so hilariously incorrect. Yep, that's why we make fun of it to this day. I couldn't believe it when I heard about it. I'm like, yeah, this guy's not a fan. He has no idea what he's talking about. Like, this DLC is literally could be sold as Monolith 2. Like, how is it? Like, what? Uh, what? All right, that's a full clear. We found the secret room and we are ready for the boss. Let's do this. We have a good weapon. Try to get some early damage. Oh, and we do, uh, we have his uh, weakness. So we're good against machinery and he's a machinery boss. So if you see that symbol over his head, it means that we do increase damage against him, which is awesome. Oh my god! It's time to get good! I can't believe we just dodged all that. Nice! We took a hit, unfortunately, but that's fine. We're also not gonna go health here, and we're gonna greet out a little bit for more damage. And I think 4,000 to fill up our gun sounds pretty good. Yeah. Let's keep this gun for a little while. Nice! Next floor, here we go. Pretty good so far. Yeah, can you explain how the controls work? Of course, Priest. At most, 350. I like how he said he played the game a bunch already. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, so the game works like, uh, I guess like Binding of Isaac uh, or any other game you may be familiar with. WASD to move or your analog stick left to move. Um, and your right analog stick or your mouse would be the aim. Um, and if you're aiming with the mouse, uh, you can also, you know, that's where you're going to be shooting, like a twin stick shooter. Um, so you move and aim. I'm playing with mouse at the moment. Um, so just like you would be moving with Gungeon on keyboard as well. Um, your right click or one of your trigger buttons on controller would be to dodge, just like it would be to dodge roll in Gungeon, um, just as you would expect. Hold your left trigger or uh, your left mouse button to shoot. Um, and then you have a bomb button wherever you set that to. Mine is shift right now for my bomb button, for my bomb clearing. So the, the controls are pretty easy as you would expect. Nice and simple. Your grocery trip turned into a $400 tire replacement. Uh. Oh god, not these guys. Got him. Health up. Dear God, man, I'm sorry to hear that. What's... Found a shortcut. Let's go in here. Ooh, a blessing shrine and a new weapon. I don't think we want this weapon, though, do we? So if I leave, this weapon is destroyed, right? Or will this one stay here? I'm not really sure. This one will not stay here, right? Yeah, F is right. This game looks interesting. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Soik! I miss you, brother. How's everything? I can also grab it and not use the, the blessing water, right? Like, I could grab it, we could use it for a while, then grab the next weapon on this floor, trade it in again, and then bless the weapon that we pick up, right? So we can get, like, double. Yo! Wish! Thank you so much for the follow, man. I'm so glad you found us. Are you- I'm guessing you're French as well? Shoutouts to my French people. Procrastinating from cleaning the apartment? My favorite. I'm a master procrastinator. 
Dude, this weapon is so good, though. Maybe we don't do it. My weapon is so good. Can I just bless without doing it? Can I just, like, peek in here and not grab the weapon? Wait a second. Why is the blessing not going off? Wait, this is not actually blessing water. Because then it would have the shine. It's just a blessed weapon. Um, so blessing, you have a small percent chance that your weapon is blessed. Um, which gives it, uh, you can see 10% damage up and 20% max ammo up. You deserve it. Thank you so much, man. It's a, a dream come true to be able to do this and uh, create this environment for you guys, man. I think I'm going to take it. Uh... I love this weapon so much, though. All right, we'll do it. We'll trade it in. We'll get some health back. All right, we're doing it. We got a health and $3,000. Whatever. Why does it say I just joined the chat? I love your mood. Oh, thank you so much, man. Uh, I just love hanging out with you guys. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try to get ahead. Whoa. Oh, we found a golden key. I'll show you guys what the golden key does in a little bit. Dude, I'm so sorry about the tire, man. Ooh, dramatic entrance, $12,000. It's a good thing we've been comboing. I want to show you guys what Dramatic Entrance does. It's really good. I think it's worth it. Yeah, let's just take it. All right, Dramatic Entrance. Check it out. We automatically shoot a giant beam every time we go in a room and we make a Dramatic Entrance. I've never seen this room before. <laughs> Too bad we're not hitting anything with the Dramatic Entrance. I just want people to notice me. <laughs> we got the trumpet. Uh, do we look for a secret room here? I don't think secret room can be here, right? Maybe here? Nope, not here either. <laughs> Am I ever gonna hit anything with it? Dead, dead, dead. Ah! Dead, dead. Those guys you can only hit when they open. When they're in the shell, they have invulnerability. There's a lot of cool enemy design in this game as well. <laughs> oh! Ugh. Okay, we're fine. Grab all the debris. Beautiful. Uh, let's go in here. Uh, ammo. Uh, cool. Let's also grab this money. Shh, money. So we do have a golden key. That means there's a gold. Oh, dramatic entrance. Let's go. <laughs> we blow up the whole room. Eventually it lines up and it feels really good. All right. So here's our weapon room. But I kind of want to get the mileage out of this weapon. So before we open this, we're going to we're going to we're going to leave it shut for a little while. Oh, dramatic entrance. Let's go, dude. Thank you. Yo, that's so good. Get off me. Our multiplier is too good for this right now. We also block a damage because of our cartridge. We're above 2.5. Uh, Fatal, this is, uh, if you want it, my opinion, this is the, the only other game besides Slay the Spire to be on two of the game of the year lists. That's how you know it's really good. I play over 200, as you know, 200 indies and roguelikes a year. So for a game to be on the top list is uh, pretty difficult. Yes, one of the best in the game, Fortune. Better and more frequent item drops. Like, does it ever get better? This is one of the best in the game. This is really cool. This is a new one. Quickening. Revive on death with uh, extra damage explosively. So we explode, do tons of damage, and come back to life with 5 HP. Uh, and this gives you more iframes when you get hit, which is really good as well. But you don't pass up on Fortune ever. Oh, thank you, Dramatic. Thanks for being dramatic. Ooh, we found mapping. We found mapping. Whoa, the golden door is over here. Let's go that way, I guess. Dramatic. Ugh. Using the terrain to my advantage. Oof. All right, let's go in here. Ooh, another damage up. We're at 140% and a swarm bomb. So we blow people up, we clear bullets, and we release swarmers. How does Monster Train? So Monster Train is brand new this year. We have not created the year uh, this year. So if you guys are wondering how those lists are created, um, something that I love to do with my community, and um, I do this every year. We started it. This is going to be our fourth year doing it. 
Um, and this is a big testament to the community and their support that allows me to do this. Um, around Christmas time, around December, we plan a big event where we do a two-day event and uh, I compile a list, we work with all the developers and I make a huge list and we do a big showcase, a two-day event where we go through every single game, all top 10 on the game of the year list. So we do like five and five. We go through every game, we showcase it and we do a bunch of giveaways for each of the games on the top list. That's a way to give back to the community. So this is gonna be our fourth year. So we do giveaways for every best game of the year that we find uh, and we showcase every single one in a big end of the year event. It's really hype. It's really hype. We got to work with Mega Crit, you know, Dead Cells, Slay the Spire people, you know, uh, Into the Breach. We worked with them and the guys that made FTL. Uh, it's 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 pretty amazing. So we don't know. I didn't make this list here, but I think Monster Train has a big uh, big odds of being a contender. I can't wait to see Dungeon of Dark on this year's list. Oh my god. Yeah, my biggest letdown list. My, bi my biggest shame list. Look at all these swarmers we're shooting. We're about to get another max HP. Sounds amazing, dude, yeah. I mean, it's just, a, it's just a, as a thank you to you guys, man, for making this possible and building this one-of-a-kind community. It's, uh, it's a really hype event. Whoa! Got him. Mini boss down. Uh, ammo or health? I'm actually gonna get rid of this gun soon, so I'm actually gonna grab the health here over mana. I mean, over ammo, over mana. What am I playing? Monster Train still? Uh, we were just talking about that. Uh, you could pull up the last three year lists. You could pull up the last three years by doing the command in chat. Uh, exclamation point top, and then 2017, 18, or 19, all one, no spaces, and you'll pull up the lists. Obviously, this year is not over yet, so we don't have a list for this year. Uh, people are always asking, oh, what's your favorite games? Like, I can't pick favorite. I play over 200 games a year. So, well, at least you have a list to know, like, what are the best games of that year. Nice! That mini boss got wrecked. I think we're gonna go health again. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh my god, stealth is so good. It's actually putting in work right now. Uh, money? How much money is this? It's like 500. I wonder if that's based on multiplier. We're at max multiplier right now. We definitely grab ammo. I think I'm gonna grab time bomb as well. Mm, oh yeah, let's grab our gun. This gun is not good for bosses anyway. Vulcan Gatling Burst? How does Gatling and Burst work? And Pulsar Wide Spray Chain Lightning. Ugh. I'm gonna go Gatling Burst here. And we trade in our other gun for $2,000. Cool. Um, We'll grab the bomb. And it's time to fight the boss. We have a 3.0 multiplier. This is gonna be a third floor boss, so these guys get very scary here. This gets very, very scary here. It's getting late, I gotta go. Thank you so much for hanging out, Wish. Hope to see more of you, man. Glad you found us. Okay, this boss is usually not too bad if we're ever gonna flawless one, but he always manages to get a hit on me because of this attack. This Gatling is putting in work right now. Oh my God. Wait a second. Just when you thought it was over. All right, we did take one hit and the shield blocked it. Um, we stayed above a 2.0, so we got a lot of money. $3,000, took a hit right at the last second. Great street, have a good, uh, great stream, have a good evening. Thank you so much for the kind words, man. Oh man, what an amazing way to start off the week. Uh, we're gonna go damage up. We're at 145% now. And let's press on. We're going to floor four. Feeling pretty good about this run so far. I would love some more damage. Who wouldn't want more damage, right? Let's go in here. Found another time bomb. Dramatic entrance. You're dead. You're dead. Those mages, I think, can only attack in either horizontally or vertically and not diagonal. 
Um, again, there's a lot of different enemy design in this game, so I like to attack them from an angle so they can't hit me. There's a lot of different, like, little details to learn about the enemies. Oh, no. We took two hits there. That was not good. Whoa! Cool your jets, man. Ooh, dramatic entrance. You crook. Oh, God. One of my least favorite mini bosses. Never mind, our gun does a bazillion damage. Uh, this time I will go ammo. I want this to last for a little while. Uh, that's, I mean, that that was me, you know? That's how I get good at these kind of games. I die in three seconds, and then next time I play, I die in five seconds. Next time I play, I die in a minute, and I work my way up from there. Uh, same with deck builders. I used to die and slay the spire, act one, ascension zero, and got to ascension 10, then I got to ascension 15, 20. Now we're playing Covenant Monster Train rank 25 and streaking, you know? I definitely was not always good. I still think I'm pretty bad at these, but people think I'm good, so that, that works out, I guess. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Open up. Uh, whoa! Why did you shoot such a huge bullet? The other guy didn't. And I told him I wasn't feeling well, but I'm actually playing Ishiden and playing Monster Train. <laughs> Dude, I can't even make fun of you because I've done that so many times in my life. That's I think that's like a sign. I think that's the international sign of being a gamer. Like you're not a real gamer until like you get to that point where in your life where there's like a hype release and you have to ditch your friends to play it and you don't want to admit it or something like or you like or you admit it and be like, bruh. That's like that's hilarious. <laughs> Wait, who was it that called out of work today? Who was it? Was that you? Who called out of work today to game? Somebody here. Somebody here called out of work today. Purchases are cheaper? Mm. What are we on floor three or four? We're on floor four, right? Maybe we can go artifact weapon? I did as well, needed it. Uh, today's not like, right now, like these days, it's like a lot of stress on everybody. Having time to like chill out is definitely important. Keyboard cat. I wish I could dive into a pool right now. Do we go revive here? Like, I don't even know. We have two more floors to buy things on and we have a lot of money. We have a pretty Garbo gun. I wouldn't mind grabbing a new weapon. It's not the best. Having a revive is probably better. We'll go quickening. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just, I just got in here and you guys are bum rushing me. I almost panicked. That was crazy. Oh God, this guy's pulling me. Bomb? Secret? All right, we're gonna go in here. Let's go for the mini boss. Uh-oh. 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 Skylight's like, Oh my god, at this loop! Got him. Uh... I'm gonna start going health. Get our health back to tip top. And uh, we're gonna trade in this weapon at some point on this floor. Oh god giant enemy as long as you kill him fast enough he's not too scary he attacks very slow nice dramatic entrance spawner nope ammo up beautiful thwomp essentially the good thing about the swamp is that you can use them to block bullets sounds like texas what are you guys talking about hold on one more got him uh, two HP parts. We're gonna go up to 15 max here. Awesome. We should probably try to find our secret room soon. It might be right here. Yep, secret room. I was hoping for damage, but a cursed... A cursed razor. Numbness. All healing reduced to one HP part. Has ring shot and a giant. So cursed weapons are really interesting in this game. Um, so what happens when you pick up a cursed weapon is it has infinite ammo but it's stuck on you. 
and it, it breaks off and releases its grasp on you after a certain amount of uh, room clear. So we don't know what that is. It's random. Um, and it'll be stuck on us. But it will also give us plus 2 HP. And it will give us a permanent 5% damage up. So it has... It's really good. Um, it does come with a curse. So right now we are getting all healing is reduced to 1 HP part. So even if we pick a 1 health up up, it's only going to give us 1 HP part over here. And it will still be at 14. Um, but it'll give us the damage up. Will it rake on this floor? We have 1, 2, 3, 4 five rooms still left to clear six rooms left to clear i would hope that it breaks within those six rooms if it doesn't if it doesn't it's gonna be a lot scarier we'll go for it we also got hp up for collecting it and trading the other weapon in uh again we don't care about the ammo because oh my god look at that weapon ring shot those always remind me of metroid all right we're gonna hope this clears in six rooms You can also use this to attack through walls, like this, and we don't care about ammo. Usually to do that, it takes a lot of ammo, but we don't care about ammo. Awesome. Ooh, fortune, uh, our upgrade popping off. Let's go, fortune. Nice. Come on, please break. Please break. I wonder if this counts as a battle. Oh, there's a lot of rooms. Nice. This will probably definitely break. I'm not sure. Probably definitely. Oh, get out of here. Got him. Got him. This is a really cool run. Got hit, unfortunately. Oh my. Uh oh. We have like three rooms left and it didn't break off yet. Oh, this guy kind of shoots at an angle. That was close. I think he tries to track you. Uh oh. I think we have like one room left and it did not break off yet. Oh no. It's not going to break, is it? Find a new weapon at the start of each floor. Uh, so that HP up should have turned into two HP parts. So I think that's why we went up a max HP. We got two HP parts from it. So we gained one max HP and we healed one from going up that one max HP. Please break, please break, please break. And, oh no, it didn't break. Oh no. Maybe it'll break after the boss fight? What particular reason? Uh, because it becomes a lot worse when we have to skip on weapons and then we're halfway through the last floor and then it just decides to break and we have no weapon. You know what I mean? Like, we want to get the benefits of the curse, and, like, sometimes, sure, like, if we we're about to be at, like, the last boss or something, and we have a good curse weapon, sure, we'll just keep it, but, like, right now, it's probably gonna break at an awkward time, and I would rather it break here, because then we could trade it in, get the salvage bonus, or, like, get, you know, pick up a new weapon, get the new benefits, um, yeah, I don't, like, I don't want to pass up on this weapon on this floor, maybe it'll break after the boss, and that'll be perfect. Oh god, no. I, th I think this is the hardest boss to get on this floor. He has three forms, and they're all, like, harder than the next. Our shot speed with this weapon is not good. It's, it's like, just when you think it's over? No, not even close. And they just get harder and harder. I just don't understand. I'm just using all my bombs. It's like, just when you thought it was over. This one doesn't have a lot of HP, though. Come on, come on, come on, one more. Got him. <sighs> Luckily, we're doing a lot of damage. 
Damage up. And it still did not break. Okay, this is scary. Find a new weapon at the start of each floor. So even when we go to the next floor, this is still going to be stuck on us, so we don't even get to grab the new weapon. I guess that's not worth it. Oh, man. And we have to pass on a weapon here. <laughs> oh, God. All right. This thing have better have been worth it. All right. Fifth floor. Prepare for battle. And it broke, you see? And now we're in this awkward spot where like, oh, okay, now we have to get to our weapon room with no weapon. Oh my God, it broke one floor too late. One battle too late. Artifact here, maybe? Nope. <laughs> Salvage, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, dude. This is awkward. This is our last shop and we have a lot of money. I don't think we need to go cheaper shops. Salvage is not really gonna help either. This is awkward. Awkward last picks. Good dodging there. Oh God, the thwomps. Like discount, this is our last time to shop and we have a lot of money. So I feel like discount's not gonna do much for us. Alright, where's our weapon room? <laughs> Let's go to towards the shop, maybe. Oh god, these guys have shields. Could this get worse? Maybe, I shouldn't say that. It could always get worse in this game. Ammo up? Yeah, so this is why we didn't take discount. Uh-oh, where's this weapon room? Maybe we should have took mapping, honestly. <laughs> maybe we should have took- Oh, there's a breach! This is a breach. Breaches are really interesting. I'll show you guys in a sec. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Armor. That was a challenge room. Got him, Hold up. Found the weapon room. Cause of the cartridge. All right, where are you guys going? Got him. Got him. All right, let's get a weapon. Charge, piercing, phasing, or railgun, backblast, infested. Uh, I'm not ecstatic to see either one of these. But I think I'd rather have the railgun than charge. Oh boy. This is a little bit rough. We might be in trouble. Secret room here, maybe? Oh. Nice snipe. All right, open up. Got him. Got him. Okay, who wants to get blasted first? Good shots. Let's go in here. Ooh, we found a legendary. So these are rare weapons and they're not randomly generated. They always are very, they're, um, they're uniques. They're, they're made, they're called uniques, I believe. And they're always, you know, like handcrafted. Um, I don't think I've ever used this one before. They're all special. 
I have no idea what this weapon does. I've never seen this one. Wait, I control it? What the? Oh, I control it? Holy moly. All right, let's keep this thing topped off. Whoa, look at this thing. <laughs> this is pretty sweet. This weapon is pretty cool. Yo, what up, salty french fries? That's pretty sick. Yeah, this weapon is dope. Let's go find a mini boss with it. Oh god, this guy is brutal. Nice! Get some more ammo. We want to keep this thing topped off. Found breaches. Okay, so every time you break that thing, it opens the breaches, which is um kind of like additional challenge rooms, but you only go in with your base weaponry. And if you survive, you have a chance to get a lot of reward. Uh, but you do go in with your base. I guess we're gonna try it. Like, we have 155% damage. The weapon with delayed wake up? Yeah, it seems really good, right? That's a good point. Okay, so this is our challenge room. Uh, this is not good with base weaponry. You know what's really cool is the water is helping, because those guys shoot fire attacks, so the water falling down is actually protecting us. We took like four damage here though, so I don't think it's worth it. Let's see what we get. Oh, two max HP up. All right, I can't complain about that. I can't complain about that. Let's do the other one. All right, please don't be brutal. Okay, this one's not bad. It's another mini boss. Uh, hide behind here. Got him. All right, give me good, 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 good health, 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 damage. Double ammo up, double health. All right. Can't complain about that. That was a good breach. We took no damage. That was good. Bye. Yeah, this weapon is crazy. I've never had this before. Oh, here they come. It's very crazy. <laughs> took three damage shield too. Yeah. Oh, God. Get me out of here. How about you stop that? Where's our secret room? Here? No. And it wasn't here, right? Here. Found it. We used all of our bombs, but... For two HP parts, I'd rather have the bombs. Okay. It's boss time. Uh, do we get ammo up? Yeah, we can't come back out here once we go in, so... 19,000 bucks, dude, for this. HP and firebomb. All right, guys, wish me luck. What was that noise? That guy was like doing a rapid shot. I don't really know what he was doing. I think he was trying to do something, but his bullets are getting negated by the wall. I'm not really sure what he was doing. All right, this is one of the first last bosses. First last boss. This is like dragon and before bullet hell that's what he is he's like the first last boss and i hate him all right here we go i also don't know how much damage this weapon's gonna do against him all right here we go we're gonna lose a lot of health here is it doing damage are we wrecking him Two hits so far. Getting wrecked. Getting slapped.
This is the easy part of the fight. Cool. We took a lot of damage, guys. I'm actually going to take HP here. Oh my god. Okay, so that's where you would normally beat the game. Uh, but we're playing hard mode, so we're going past that. And we're trying to loop, which means go up another ascension. Oh god. So now this is where the real fun begins, essentially. Bro's weapon is not good in that room. All those bullets that are shining red like that do two damage per hit instead of one. They're very brutal. I got hit by one of those in the last boss fight. Yeah, this is uh, where nightmares are made. Oh, that enemy's called the grenade because of that. It just explodes into a tons of bullets when you kill it. Uh, we have a place to trade in our weapon. Um, Not yet. Very soon, though. Key. Key is good. Got him. Mini boss. Hitting both at the same time. Please die. Got him. Good fight. Uh, ammo or HP? We'll go ammo here for now, I guess. I'm scared, dude. I don't think we're gonna make it. Grenades? Grenades? Not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Our health is dropping. <laughs> It's good with shielded enemies. Wow. Just ignore shield completely. Oh god, it was a possessor enemy. It possessed him. So when you kill the enemy, a ghost comes out and goes to the nearest enemy and possesses them and makes them stronger. What cool enemy design. I love that. It just didn't work out in my favor. All right, we're gonna get a new gun here. Pulsar, shotgun style triple, or revolver, auto hammer, disrupting. Pulsar has like short range, right? Revolver it is. Uh, I'm scared guys. Oh, we do more damage against him. Got him. Help. There's one more mini boss out here that we have to kill before we can leave. Contains cartridges for 350 ammo. Nah, we can't do that, dude. What the? What the mook is this room? What the? What do I do? What is this? Oh my God. I just lost like five HP. What is that room? I don't like it down here. Oh, we're so dead. We're so dead. What was that room? What was I supposed to do? Oh my God, we're dead. Oh no. Two HP, ladies and gentlemen. Those will one-shot me. Oh my god. Those will one-shot me. 
We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. It's been a good run. It's been a good run. Secret room? Question mark? Oh my god, be health, please. We need. Oh my god, two HP parts. Oh no. Ammo up is good. Please be health in here. All right, two health up and two bombs. Bombs are kind of like health-ish. All right. I don't think we get out of this fight. I think there's like zero chance. So if I make it out of this fight, that would be a new PB. I think the least amount of times that I got hit during this boss that we're about to fight was seven. It's the best I've ever done. Let's not forget that we have a revive as well. I think the least I ever gotten hit is seven. Whatever, we'll make it a good fight. With the revive, we could probably kill him. Maybe. And then we're gonna meet our demise in... <laughs> like, you thought this area was the worst? Here we go. The monolith. Phase down. I hate this attack. Stop doing it, please. Thank you, Raiders. attack uh, yo what up clan dude how you doing man <laughs> what were you playing dude that was a good run we haven't played in a while we were playing loop one Whew, that was hard man we, we, we couldn't get the damage together we didn't have a good weapon at the end of the game and we also got wrecked in that run room we took like five damage in there yeah it was, it was brutal what up craig that was brutal. Satisfactory today? We'll take satisfactory some days. Some days phenomenal, the next some days satisfactory. Oh, you were playing satisfactory, okay. <laughs> Is that game like, um... Is that game like... Opus Magnum? Like, where you're building conveyor belts and, like, machinery and stuff like that? Or am I thinking of a different game? Damn, that was a really good battle. And this is how I redeem myself. Psych. Payback. It is modeled after Factorio. Interesting. Okay. We actually played Opus Magnum uh, not too long ago for the first time ever. Revengeance will be mine! 
Remember me! Why? How does one get good at these patterns? I think the idea is to dash through that and get to the high ground, maybe? Stop doing it! You have a thousand attacks and this is the one you keep doing? <laughs> Opus Magnum is amazing, dude. I can't believe I slept on that game for so long. All right, guys, that was Monolith. That's gonna conclude our after party. Streaming about eight and a half hours. Uh, keep in mind that there's also different ships that you play as in this game that also changes up the game a lot. Uh, there's one where you don't have bombs and instead you get magic spells, which is pretty interesting. There's one ship that you build, kind of like you would build in Nova Drift. Yeah, I don't know why I slept on Opus Magnum for so long. Uh, but yeah, man. That was really fun to play some Monolith today after uh, two epic back-to-back -back Covenant 25 Monster Train wins.